Russia traded military vehicles for Pepsi featuring the fat electrician from the Instagram podcast. Now, Nick, we were talking earlier. Ooh, I wanted setup. to deep dive onto your um, the the guy you just did a video about of the best antihero now. I don't know about best. He's one of them. Though. You said it in the fucking video. I said he's one of the best. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a fucking dope ass story because I well, never heard of that. How long did yeah. you, so, like, you have to do something? deep dive for that? How do you how get all those it? tangents where you're like this oh, one I was individual? Like, how'd they get how they get tanks on the beach at D Day? And then I Googled it and I was like, oh, <laughs> Oh yeah. shit! You text me at like two in the morning. You're like, Bro. I'm working on a video. Yeah, it was. I was fuck freaking out for like four hours. I was like, oh shit, the Germans didn't invent the Blitzkrieg. It was this guy. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> Why did you text me about that? Huh? I was curious. I, I've done this live on stream before too. I've done this live on stream where it's like, hey, I don't know about this specific thing. Let's Google it, and we fig and we can figure it out, right? Absolutely. There needs to be some level of critical thinking, problem solving skills, etc. Right that people need right like if you have a situation where you're looking at a project right or you're looking hey, why does my pc not start okay maybe i should unplug it try plugging it back again make sure power's on power flips on or off right you need troubleshoot right but reasonably if you're like i mean what's the atomic mass of neon right how many protons does helium have right just google it you literally have the power of the internet and all the information and sometimes misinformation at the power of your fingertips don't be afraid to Google some of that. Just make sure you're checking sources. I don't have many people that are up that late that would understand. I get uh, that, though. I, I get that. that many autistic I'm up to... Oh, is, an aut is that an autism thing? It could be. I'm up to like 4 a.m. playing Destiny, working on videos and stuff like that, like making sure I tag everything properly, all that fun stuff. And like, I have no other like friends that do what I do because one, I mean, it's a risk for them to leave their job and do it. And two, they just don't have that interest. So like, I get this though. Just like message Brandon her at 2 a.m., right? That electrician's just like, I'm working on a video. Oh my God, did you know this? Like, I totally get it and geeking out, right? It's like finding something out at like 2 a.m. And I'm just like, huh, okay. This is how my champ worked in Gen 2 or something like that, right? Something just absolutely just wild. Neon has 21 masks. See, right? Google it, right? It's right there. Literally live Wochian reaction, right? Right there. Google's your best friend. Friends. It's our, yeah. <laughs> so you're like, huh, so, so, so the Blitzkrieg <laughs> doesn't want to text Dude, the German awesome. guy what Blitzkrieg might be. Yeah, I'm not interested at all. <laughs> <laughs> <You're asleep. laughs> I'm up till two in the morning. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh. Okay, so, Eastern Standard Time. Sorry, this, what? Yeah. Yeah. Eastern Standard Time is a vote for Brandon Herrera. Oh, God. <laughs> a vote for <laughs> Carbon Brandon. That's the most offensive one yet. <laughs> 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 so this gentleman <sighs> is named Percy Hobart. Sorry, sir, Major General Sir Percy Stanley Clayhorn Hobart. I've never seen him with glasses on. This is absolutely wild. It's blowing my mind. I also really like how full that glass is. That is that that that's a good time right there. Okay, that probably is really strong, but that's a good time. So is it rank then? Knighthood? Rank then knighthood, yeah, because yeah, like okay. knighthood is like part of your name, I think. He came out of retirement for this, correct? Like rank changes. So mm. uh, right after he fought in World War One, got a military <laughs> cross, came out of World War One, went to college, and then he's like volunteered to be in the tank corps, and nobody else wanted that job because it was they were like, oh, tanks are just for going from one trench to the other. We're not going to do anything else with them ever again. And the military is mostly ran by uh like cavalry guys. Uh huh. It was when horses were right, huge in World right. War I. So they like didn't believe right. in tanks. And then um so yeah, he like developed all these fucking tactics. Nobody wanted to listen to him. Uh so they hated him, and then he ended up banging some other officer's wife. They divorced, <laughs> he married her, so now they all really hate him. What a Chad. Yeah, I know. Chad move. So, <laughs> Miriam. Don't do that. I would like to stuff you while your husband's away on training. Do you know that there's there's a really nasty rumor that keeps perpetuating the VTuber community? I'm going to anonymize the VTuber because it doesn't really matter here. What I can say is that there's this really nasty rumor about a VTuber that, as far as I'm aware, has been completely and utterly found to be untrue, straight-up misinformation that, like, this VTuber, while their husband, while their uh, significant other at the time was deployed, like, they cheated on them. I mean, don't do that. Right. If that's a situation, probably not the best idea. Right. That's like, you know, meets Kit meets some girl at bar. Oh, well, you know, my husband's away at deployment. No, 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 no. 
Nope. Mm -mm. Not doing that. Nope. I'm not doing that. I got Pokemon to go play. Okay. I got literally anything else. Like I, I will go read the periodic table tonight if I have to. I will do anything else other than that, which I don't know why that sparked that. I, it's just like, it's just been a consistent thing in the VTubing community that someone just gets accused of this consistently, despite it being proven wrong. And it frustrates me because I hate disinformation and misinformation, especially when it's easily proven wrong. What say you? <laughs> Hey, your husband's on a horse. I got a tank. But we can run it. I don't care. <laughs> we blast that Have you yeah. seen the size of his horse's cock? <laughs> Mare's leg. Anyways. <laughs> uh, anyways, no, yeah, he, he got forced into retirement, and then uh, the Germans fucked up France in like six weeks, beat the shit out of the British, using his tactic that he developed that they I wrote told the him book. wasn't going to work, and then Churchill himself pulled him out of retirement. So the Blitzkrieg, back. he actually had that before it was, mm -hmm. they started using that tactic. He was like, hey, this yeah, is no, what he, you need he, to do, and they didn't listen. He developed it and then convinced the Brit British military to let him do like a humongous training exercise, mm -hmm. and all the umpires were officers, so they made it be like, no, that didn't work. No, that's wrong. That didn't work. So like shot down his Blitzkrieg, and then so all the officers literally were basically <laughs> like, yeah, you just don't, you don't want to be fast and violent. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Those you two gotta, things you gotta are really, be, you gotta really be terrible. Gentlemanly. Terrible. Yeah. Would you yeah. agree? Slow. Would you compare it to the more recent wargaming kind of strategy where it was a Marine general and he had to act like an insurgency to take on all the American forces? That's and overblown. He, I looked into it. Did, was, is it yeah. Ooh, okay. He had me, but if that's overblown, that's very interesting. I'm curious where the crux of this contention comes from. Really? It's overblown. I, told, really? I was yeah. told that the first time he did phenomenal and the second time they wargamed it so that he was just... They tied his hands behind yeah, his back. Yeah, so I looked into it because that's exactly. So, so what's like, the what's the original story for those who don't know? Yeah. Uh, so the original yeah. story is that they they brought this marine general out of retirement to mm -hmm. like do, be the bad guy, lead forces for a war game, and like apparently. Okay. Look, from my limited military knowledge, if you want to test something, bring in the Marine Corps. You want to make you what is it the 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 AI was it DARPA AI I think right they're the robot. Give it to the Marine Corps. They'll find out all those bugs. And that's what they proceeded to do, right? Fat Electrician's own video. This thing didn't track them, couldn't do certain things. Marines walk circles around this thing. Look, <laughs> if you want to if you want to find the bugs in whatever you're trying to work out, or if you think you have a flawless product or a flawless idea, give it to the Marine Corps. Just let them deal with it for at least 48 hours. You will, they will find everything wrong with it. And I absolutely love them for it. I've had people be like, Kip, you really love the military. And it just comes down to like, the military gets stuff done, right? You can look at upper brass. You can look at upper management, so to speak. You can look at the people that are paper pushers and stuff like that, right? The, 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 was it the torpedoes in World War II? The ones that didn't work and it was all behind red tape and stuff like that, especially getting uh, sonar and stuff on ships. Like, no, I'm talking about boots on the ground, Call of Duty, IGN, right? Boots on the ground, yeah, I'm here. I just want to go home. I want to get stuff done, right? Which goes into like, well, if you need a project done, who do you give it to? Do you give it to the one that wants to go home or the one that wants to be there for eight hours? Give it to the one that wants to go home. Give him the exact specifications. He'll get it done in like two hours and he's done. He's good. He's good to go. <laughs> if you want to see your new toy in shambles, give it to the Marine Corps. <laughs> he won. It's and not affiliated with they, the Marine like, Corps. Called the whole thing off as a fluke and canned it. And then this guy like wrote a scathing letter. It was like this big dramatic piece. So I was gonna do a video on it. Mm. And actually, actually looking into it, it didn't take long to kind of realize that like no, a lot of that shit that guy did didn't make any sense. Oh, okay. It was right. like it was like well, you're you're not gonna cut. You, you can't intercept my communications because I'm not going to use any electronic devices. I'm going to send a letter carrier on a motorcycle. Yeah. But also, that letter carrier is going to get there in three fucking seconds. Oh. Uh, so, like, he... Okay, okay. Like, that, from a civilian standpoint, looking at that, that seems like that could be questionable, right? Because if you're going to say, oh, well, we're not going to use, you know, electronic communications and you're going to use pigeon or whatever, you can use pigeon, dude on a bike, whatever, you have to be consistent and use the dude on the bike or the pigeon, whatever you're going to use. That's not necessarily a fair end result, a fair product to be able to look at that and go, oh, but it got there in three seconds, right? Like, that's just not consistent. Or... If you want to get the three second thing, find a way to do it without using electronic communication, right? Like, 
if you just present it as X, but Y can't happen because X is the way it is, that doesn't come across as fair. And I'm sure that there's someone that can enlighten me more into whatever this was specifically. But at least to me, from a civilian standpoint, that doesn't seem like that would be the most genuine end result. It was like saying, like, I'm not using technology, but he was treating it like it was technology. So they're mm. like, no, that's that's bullshit. Uh -huh. Like, you don't get to claim that you're doing the math for targeting data in, in enough time to intercept a fucking missile traveling. Said, no, 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 wait. Love, While they're driving, they're doing hand and arm signals with the flag. Yeah. So it's <laughs> simultaneous. Awesome at that. I, I love how <laughs> <laughs> Ryan just stimming. They're like, I don't know what's going on. They're like, on. their coordinates are 1375 by North chocolate milk. I want some Skittles. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> air raid, sir. air raid. Donald Trump has funny looking hair. Why orange man? I want Sir, the seventh. The South Tank Division needs chicken nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> and a milkshake. <laughs> the flag man is not making eye contact with me. He never will. <laughs> I, just, I just love the fact that, like, I'm like I'm, when you came to my house, uh, yeah. like, I, I have a whiteboard full of, you know, fucking just, you know, you know, schedule shit that I gotta work Smart, out. Smart, like, actually. I might adopt I that. I was talking about doing a video on the Pepsi Navy thing, and you're just like, ah. fake and gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of hearing about it. <laughs> I'm looking like, into it. <laughs> Not that big what, of a deal. What was, what was the original story with the... So that's actually something that I myself am going to apologize for because I've definitely had misinformation on that in regards to conflating the two. Allegedly, the way that it happened is not the way that I've stated it is in previous videos. So one, going to apologize for that. Two, we're here to learn a thing, right? We, we got we got teacher fat electrician here today. Absolutely. Can I tell it? Because I, I, I never get to make the fucking video now. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's really cool. Sorry. We're, we're, I was going to do a video and... So it is overblown. Like you're, you're right. You're right. It, like people don't really know the nuance, but basically, okay. essentially, uh, the the Soviet Union once they, you know, were collapsing because they kind of did that because they're communist. They communism doesn't. They uh, what? What was it? They uh, went bankrupt under new management. See that or, uh, new management. See. Oh my God, Kip! I can speak English, please. The joke that I'll talk about is that they just went. They declared bankruptcy, and then they just went into a restructuring period. <laughs> Well, because you got things like, what is it, Kazakhstan? You got people that still explore. Well, we, what was it? Uh, Aralsk 7 never got cleaned up properly. I think the UN had to step in on Aralsk 7, right? And uh, bleach the ground there. But even then, they could only bleach it to X degree. And, you know, uh, when someone was asked, is there still anthrax there? Oh, don't worry. There's anthrax still there, right? Um, you have that. You have... I don't know, I've actually really just wanted to go to Kazakhstan. I feel like Kazakhstan would be a really cool like place to go to. Number of places that were just kind of left with, you know, left hole in the bag of just like, wow, I guess we just don't have upper management anymore. <laughs> Work? No. Nick what? I communism. mean, it works against your will while you're hungry. He's yeah. <laughs> they wanted Coca-Cola. They, they just wanted fucking soda. And so they, uh, just like every restaurant in the country, when they can't get Coca-Cola, they talk to Pepsi. <laughs> and so... Uh, Sir, I'm sorry we don't have Coke products. Is rum and Pepsi okay? <laughs> Eyes turn lasers. <laughs> they actually made a deal with some of their old warships and things like that, and they uh, ended up basically trading uh, warships, like battleships and things like that, for diets or just for, for soda. Okay. The Russians gave battleships away? Yeah. yeah. And uh, Well, they were trash then. Yeah, they were junk. Like, they were scrap. It was like full yeah. military giveaway okay. for Boy, so soda. It, so for, for a technical period, uh, Pepsi had the seventh largest navy in the world. By okay. like tonnage, yeah. Yeah. Tonnage. Which is fucking ridiculous. But it was also just fucking scrap, scrap old okay. warships. Can you imagine the owner of PepsiCo just like looking outside of his window one day and be like, <laughs> Who wanted to get seven fucking submarines? <laughs> it, it was like it was, it was Kylo Ren from the new Star Wars. Like oh. I know what I have to do. I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just it's just this guy just coming sitting down. He's just like. We're never going to financially recover from this. <laughs> what are we going to do with these It's bags? Russian steel. You can point your finger through it. <laughs> okay, so the funny part about that, it wasn't Coke that they wanted. They oh. wanted Pepsi because <laughs> fucking, I, I think it was Gorgachev came over to America mm -hmm. and they were like giving him the tour of like, hey. Oh, it was the, 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 the uh, 
not being a communist looks. And Supermarket. He, like, before, he did, before he did Papa John's commercials. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did Gorbachev do a Papa John's commercial? No, I wait. Thought, Papa John's was, was around over then. I thought it was Pizza Probably Hut. Why are you getting into was my it? ego like this? It was, right? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> You don't. Pizza, no, pizza, pizza. There we go. Yeah, pizza. Pizza. You, you don't know about that, right? Corbin did a pizza yes, commercial. That's what it was. Yeah. Big fucking liver you know, spot. You know, you know who else works? You know who else works? You know who else works with Pizza Hut? DMI, Rich. DMI works at Pizza Hut. What's DMI? I think we can't get into it. Is that DEI? Is that the Dairy Dairy Management Incorporated? Oh, that's right. The cheese. I also talking about the cheese again. I also found out they have a SWAT team. Where you get that cheese, Danny? Where's my the government cheese? cheese? Sure. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Um, so, yeah, no, he came over, and they're like, I don't know, he was trying different sodas, and I think, I don't remember exactly how it was, but, like, Pepsi came out, and they're like, here's our here's our cola. We made it with water from the USSR, and he's like, this is fucking delicious. And then he got <laughs> The picture. only thing Gorbachev was ever wrong about. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so he, uh, he's a joke. He's yeah, so like that's why Pepsi became <laughs> super popular. It's because they like literally just tricked him and no shit. getting that famous picture of him drinking You're shitting Pepsi. Me. No, and oh then my God. yeah, so that was the whole deal. And then originally they were trading, uh, the USSR was trading vodka in exchange for Pepsi, and then Pepsi was selling the Soviet vodka. Wow, and they, were the, they had a licensing agreement, they were the only ones allowed uh -huh. to sell it in America. Wow, but then after the whole like fucking. Cold War and human rights violations thing. It yeah. became less popular to break that. <laughs> so then they had to trade them battleships, you know. It's a good time. That's fucking insane, just trading battleships, which I would I definitely mean, fuck it, take. why not? It's and an thus asset. began the Russian oligarchy's norm of, do you want some military equipment for good shit that we could actually use? <laughs> We'll trade you 10 soda pops. <laughs> and we've got this AK that's kind of a rifle, kind of long sniping, very, very quiet. It can't go through anything, but it sounds and looks neat. Nothing. You can how, how many cans of Pepsi is a dragon of SVD? What, what's the current exchange rate on that? <laughs> be talking about three things right now. And that's oh why it's funny. A oh. vote for Russian propaganda is a vote for Brandon Herrera. <laughs> You know that oh you know that was taken out of context. God damn. <laughs> Twenty-five Pepsi's easy. You know what? Sounds like a bargain, especially because it's what in 762. <laughs> oh my god, that was absolutely amazing. If you haven't done checked any of these people out, definitely do yourself a favor. Brandon Herrera does a lot of really cool firearms content. Really just just specialized in what he does, an expert, you know, very safe with firearms. And, uh, you know, Fat Electrician just is an absolute just wealth of information. And I absolutely love his content. Dude is absolutely next level. And Angry Cops as well. He brings just such personality. Thank you over for watching. Definitely go ahead and check them out. And I will see you all in the next one.